good morning. Uh, Lisa Marie here and um, today maybe I'm going to be running on time and not have to super duper rush but I'm still going to just kind of rush and um, tell you um, what I have for today is just my work day again um, because I have no idea what I'm going to do for supper. Um, we're fixing to leave on vacation so I don't want to cook a whole lot of stuff yet. My other thought was maybe I should cook a whole bunch of stuff, freeze it, so it'll be ready when we get home on late Sunday, and then I don't have to think about cooking or stopping at the store. So we'll see. I might change my mind tonight and see what I do. But, um, ah, hold on one sec. That's my other alarm. Um, time to take off my patch. Where did I put it? There it is. Uh... I have trouble, as you know, taking um, pills, always have. So I found this amazing thing. If you need uh, a different way to have your multivitamins, this is what I use. It is a patch and it goes on. And I don't remember exactly where I read in the instructions, but it said something about leave it on for at least eight hours. Um, so I put it on at night and then I um, take it off in the morning. So it's like 12 hours, right? Eight to eight, yeah, 12 hours for me. Um, <clears throat> that's just what I do and that's what's working for me. And my blood work has come back uh, amazing every time. So. Hey, if you need something different in order to do your um, vitamins and supplements, look them up. They're amazing. Um, and a lot of people offer them online, a lot of different things. I think bariatric. Hey, babe, what's the place where we order the vitamins? <clears throat> bariatric Patch MD or Bariatric Pal. And there's a whole bunch. If you go on Amazon, it's like, Eight people try to sell them so uh, you just look up and see who has the price that you want to try and they usually give a code uh, so that you get a discount the first time you offer so heck if you want to offer you want to order from more than one place like we did um, you get a discount from all these different places and then by the time you need to go back and order you'll know where to order from so hey good morning so today is just my work day and um, way better in the realm of calories and um, nutrients for me. And I'm not going to be throwing away as much food today as I did yesterday and, and the day before. Uh, so it's kind of back to normal for me. So today, so far, my calories are at 738. Um, protein is at 62 which is right at the verge of minimal. So I'm gonna have dinner and snack and it'll all work in there. Carbs are at 37 and my fats are just a tad high. They're at 44, but um, it's just what happened. So here we go. Let me show you what I have for today. I learned this new thing on my camera. It has an up and downer. So, um, I start my day pretty much like I always do, and then here's my log uh, that I have for today. Um, this is my personal stuff over here of what I want to make sure I do, but here is when we went to bed, and I haven't filled out any of this because the day's not over. Like yesterday, I filled it out everything there at the bottom and my whole day and what I did. There's my calendar. This is my bullet journal. I love it. And yeah, these pages I made on Excel and I'd be happy to share them with you. If you um, send me your email, I'll share it with you. So today it's a lot simpler. And today um, I had to make my own bookmarker though. It didn't have one. Uh, is a lot simpler and this is more like for me, my average meals are 200-ish or less. Uh, I very seldom have them as low as exactly 100 anymore, um, but these are, these are kind of normal. 
and this is this is my day. So here, let me show you. Of course, I start my day. Um, for me, I don't. Some of you are new. Some of you know this, but my body needs six glasses, six eight ounce glasses of fluids, water, what have you, a day. And so I get up in the morning and do one right away with my G2. I have eight ounces of G2 that I put my probiotic in. For me, this helps my stomach and everything kind of get moving through my system like it should. And so I open that and put it inside my G2 and then I shake it up. Then um, because hubby's getting sick and we're fixing to go on vacation, and I have low acid in my stomach, this is like my best friend. So you, if you use apple cider vinegar, you wanna make sure you get one that has the mother in it because that's what's good for you and that's what has the proper uh, bacteria fighting, bacteria, I guess, I don't know. But it's that weird stuff in the bottom that looks like something's wrong. But no, just kinda rotate it a couple of times gently. And then I put a tablespoon or like a half an ounce in my whole thing, and that's my morning. Then within 30 minutes-ish, I make my hot tea or my hot cocoa. I haven't tried it in cold yet. Hmm, maybe I'll have to try that. So today, a friend of mine gave me this amazing tea, um, Pure Leaf, and it's supposed to be for iced, but it's amazing cold. But look, it's black tea with peach, and it is just yummy. But the bags are so cute. They're like these little triangle mesh net, which is, I just thought that was fun. But she gave me this to try. So I mix my Jean Pro first in some room temperature water. Then I add it to my hot tea along with a tablespoon of coconut oil. And today I used a tablespoon of this sugar-free vanilla and um, I probably would have normally used rock um, sugar or beet sugar uh, but I wanted just a little bit of flavor so I did this so about a tablespoon of that and you can get this at the Dollar Tree oh my gosh the Dollar Tree and it's hard to find and they sometimes only have one flavor but I have found two flavors there this and hazelnut so be on the lookout because that's like a great find so I'm gonna try again today. I've got some new stuff going on for me to try for snack and lunch. Um, a friend gave me these smart bagels to try and I'm getting brave because, you know, I did not used to like onions at all, like ugh, gross, before my surgery. However, since my surgery, I just can't seem to get enough onions. It's crazy, 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 crazy to me. So this is called an everything bagel, and it's it's this big. It's only, um, it's flat. It's like a half a thing. So the serving, of course, is for one whole bagel. I know I cannot eat one whole bagel, but I wanted to have the flavor and the experience of both sides, so I just cut it in half. And this is... I'm looking at it, this is like way too big, uh, uh, way too much for me, so when I cook it, I don't know, I don't know how I'm gonna cook it. I'm gonna toaster oven it, but I'm not sure, I'm not sure how I'll do this, but I'll use my finger as my guide to cut my pieces, and then I'll cut each of those probably at, at least into two, but probably three because I can get my pinky three times across there. So then that'll make my little toddler bites for me. So I'm gonna try that, and I already know I love and use this whipped um, Philadelphia cream cheese. I get the original because when I looked at the label, the original actually had less sugar and um, less something else up here. I don't remember what it was, but it was less. So I thought, then I'm getting the real thing. Uh, so I'm going to have that on top of that bagel, and I did do two tablespoons in here. Uh, it fits with a little bit of space, but two tablespoons fit in there. And then that that bag of, um, 
again, my dollar store find of this freeze-dried um, fruit. Now, dried fruit seems to have a whole lot more sugar. I don't know why, but this freeze-dried one only had two grams for the whole stinking bag. And I can't eat the whole bag. I'm only eating a half of the bag. So that is my plan for snack today. Then lunch went so well yesterday, uh, I pulled out one of my little frozen um, turkeys that I cooked um, whenever we cooked them that has the caramelized onions and stuff. So I pulled this out. Hopefully it'll be all the way defrosted by then. Uh, this is turkey and I have two, or excuse me, a quarter of a cup. So two ounces of this Alfredo sauce that I did yesterday that is so amazing. And again, it's because it has less than, less than one gram of sugar. And I got it at the Dollar Tree. No, I don't normally always shop there, but I was there and we look around and that's what I do. But so yes, I get a lot of stuff from there. Sorry about that. Then I'm not a huge fan of the shaved uh, Parmesan cheese, but I measured this out because um, that's what I had. And it is a, a full on shaved, full uh, regular Parmesan cheese, shaved Parmesan. And that's what I'm going to melt on top of that with that. And that's going to be lunch. Then snack is going to be um, kind of familiar and kind of different at the same time. Uh, this was what I had from Sunday. We had street tacos at our church, uh, like a little fiesta. And they had beef, pork, and chicken. And I just took a little bit of each one to make, um, I believe this is only one ounce. Now I'm, I normally mark it on the lid and I didn't do that. So yeah, this is one ounce and it has some onions in there. Again, I can't get enough. Um, love them, it's crazy. But so my snack is gonna be one ounce of the um, taco meats. And I'm gonna melt some cheese on there. And I actually upped my cheese, but I may make it less, depends on what it, how much it covers. This is 15 grams instead of 10. Normally I only do 10. And then this, if you have not had Mexican corn, I thought Mexican corn meant that corn that's got all the different colors, you know, the browns and reds and yellows and all of that. No, apparently Mexican corn uh, because there's not enough fat and weird stuff in refried beans, they put it all over their corn. So they have an ear of corn, roll it in butter, like soak it in butter, and then they roll it or put a big dollop of mayonnaise on top of that. Crazy! And then they put this shredded... Um, Oh, grated, shredded, whatever that's called, Parmesan cheese, or um, I forget what it's called. There's this other little seasoning thing that you had the option to put on. And then, of course, the tahini powder. So, thankfully, we had control of the corn when we went through the line. So, he just I barely did a roll so that it had butter to make stuff stick. And then he used about a tablespoon of the mayonnaise and put it on there. And then I did put the Parmesan cheese on there. So this is so stinking good. Like, like I really needed something else of a fattening way to make something, but I will not have this very often, but I'm having it because it tasted really good. And we'll see how my tummy can do. This is a whole ounce. I don't think I can eat a whole ounce of the corn, but we'll see. Um, I'm gonna heat them up together but I'm only gonna put the cheese on this and then I'll take my two bites, one bite, two or three bites, one bite. Sometimes I'll mix them and have a little bit of this bite and that bite together because I kinda liked that combo when I did it on Sunday. So that is going to be my afternoon snack. And then here is the rest of my beverages for the day. 
This Arizona T zero is so, can you see it? Zero green tea. It's so good. It's so good. It's got some ginger in it or uh, not ginger, ginseng. It's so good. And I can drink it. My tummy likes it. So, Hey, that's what I'm doing. And my water. This is my water that I can drink. Um, why other bottled water doesn't go down well? I don't know. I don't know. I don't get it. So I have half of this on my way to work. Then I'll have this between snack and lunch. Then I'll have this half between lunch and second snack. And then I'll have the other half of this on my way home from work. So I have now, if I don't have anything else to drink the rest of the day, I'm good, but that's not gonna happen. Uh, I always have something. So that is my day. Uh, my, my tea I'm still finishing. Snack, lunch, snack, and my breakfast. So there you go. Let's raise this up so I don't have to squat down. Ah, uh, look at this gadget. Isn't this fun? So there you have it. That's my, just my day at work of what we're going to do. Um, I really want to try something. Let me grab it. I don't know where we were. Um, I don't know where we were. Uh, grocery, warehouse, Walmart. I, I don't know. I don't know where we were, but they had this. Look how big that is. Bigger than my head. It is called an ultra thin pizza crust instead of crust on the back. And this whole thing is, it says it has three slices. I'm thinking, how can you cut that into to three? Okay, maybe make it six. I don't know. Three slices is how much is in here, and one slice is a serving. And for one slice, it's one gram of sugar. What? One. So this whole thing has three. Then it's 130 calories, though, for a slice because the carbs are really high, 25. Um, but it also has four grams of protein. What? So... I normally make cauliflower crust um, for our pizzas. I'm going to try that chicken crust um, that they, a lot of people are talking about. I haven't tried it yet. Um, but we're thinking of trying this. But heck, if a third of this is a slice, yeah. So my calorie of this, my take of this is, is gonna be so stinking little. Um, it does say 45 grams. Hmm. So maybe I'll weigh it. I'll try it and I'll weigh it. I'll weigh out a 45 grammer, which I already know is going to be too big. I'm more like a 10, 10 grams of something. But it feels really neat. But look how thin that is. Crazy. So we'll see. We'll see if we do that for supper because then um, if we have to toss it or throw it away before the weekend, I don't care. Um, I think that's it. Uh, my day is going to be kind of a normal day at work. I'm finally going to get to walk at lunch and, um, that's my day. So again, if you, um, are trying to track stuff, please, please, please try. If you're, um, feeling like you're, um, not succeeding in your weight loss or you're stalled or you're gaining or it's been a couple years and you're thinking, oh heck, what, what's wrong? My stomach's stretched out. Um, you can do a pouch re reset, retest, reset, whatever. Your pouch is still gonna do what it's supposed to do. And it'll all shrink down back to like it should. The thing is, is your portions and your portion sizes. If you're eating like an adult instead of a toddler, uh, you're gonna have issues. You're gonna eat, be eating way too much and you're gonna be taking too big of bites and you're gonna be eating too fast and you're not gonna be letting your sleeve or whatever surgery you had, especially if you had a bypass or a row and Y where stuff's got rerouted, your stomach is still little too. Um, so is the band, the lap band. And so is that new um, balloon that they put in and fill up that space. So like this, you know, you've got that much tummy because the balloon's filling up the rest. Um, you need to eat like a toddler. 
You need to eat like a baby. If you're brand new, think baby. You wouldn't be giving your baby this crazy big stuff. So don't do it to your, to you. Don't do it to you. Don't do it to your, don't do it to yourself. Um, I was going somewhere with that. The lawn men showed up. Uh, I don't know, but I just really want to encourage you. If 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 things seem off, start tracking. Start tracking your water for sure and your protein for sure. Uh, don't worry about the calories so much. Um, you can, uh, but I just like two weeks. I just started tracking the actual calories with my meals. I, I really, I mean, I do in my fitness pal, but I haven't really been doing it consciously uh, until the last couple days when I saw how high they were. I was like, yikes! Um, so yeah, you don't want to do that. But so as a helpful guide. Please, 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 please. I I know it's my prayers. I know it's God. I really do know it's God. And he's answering prayers of me sticking to what is right and good for my body. But I know it has to do with tracking. I just, I just believe that. I believe it has something to do with me tracking. And weighing and measuring things, you know, it's part of it. And especially if you do a whole bunch at one time, then um, it's okay. You, you just kind of grab and go out of the fridge and put things together. Uh, that's kind of normally how I do it. But um, I'm praying for you. And there's several people, ooh, a couple people had surgery yesterday and all is going well. Um, I've been in contact with a few, so yay. And then I know a couple of you are having it today. Wednesday, hump day, is gonna be your new day. Uh, so I'm so excited for you and I've also heard from some of you um, that are having it tomorrow, Thursday and Friday and um, just know that I'm praying for you. I'm praying for you before it, during it and after because every part of that has a different stage and every part of that can be wonky. <laughs> so um, I love you. I really do and I love that you're doing this journey with me and my little private diary that I thought was just for me uh, but but back to the thing so if you want a copy of this Excel spreadsheet uh, just give me your email let me know I'll send it to you and you could totally change it at make make this whatever things you want to do during the day or stretch the box and don't use it at all I mean it's an Excel spreadsheet you can change it however you want whatever is gonna work for you um, that's what you do because that's what you need. So have a great day. What daily vitamin do I take? I don't take a one orally because I have a hard time swallowing. I take this. I use the multivitamin topical patch, patch. And it's by a place called Patch MD, uh, but several places offer this online. Um, I know Amazon does, but there's also a couple of companies uh, bariatric uh, pal and um, something else. Or something like that. Say it again. Or like that. Oh yeah, Barry Barry Tastic. I think they do it too. Um, there's a couple of them, so look around because they all have different prices. And I don't know if you can see, but I have I have everything in like all kinds of containers. It's crazy. That's our cupboard. <laughs> um. So there you have it, there's my day, there's what I do. Hopefully it helps and remember, if you're brand new, this, hey good morning, this this is not for you. You're still on the liquids, the soft foods or the purees. Um, you can puree a lot of this stuff and it tastes really good combined together, but you need to um, follow something different and yes, I am planning on showing you what I did um, back at the beginning and so that you can see what worked for me, but there's my day. Have a great day I love ya and rem just know I'm praying for you. Okay. I really am and I really care that about you So have a good day Bye